What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing something a bit different, just going to be talking about um, the new games coming out this year. So as you can tell by the title, this is the most anticipated games of 2020. Um, I'm going to be talking about just different games that are coming out this year and then I'm going to talk about the ones that got me more excited basically. Um, so just got me a little list, you know, always coming handy. <laughs> write them notes down so we're just going to jump straight into it if you do enjoy this video please like do subscribe and hopefully you know you just do enjoy and you want to come back and watch more so um just jumping straight into it so um in random order basically these games are so we've got the avengers game um i've only seen a bit of gameplay for that i think that was just released for e3 or whatever it was recently um that looks good it's also been delayed. Um, obviously, I will mention the ones that have been delayed as well because I've gotten the emails of certain games that I've ordered. But yeah, we've got the Avengers. Looks good. Possibly get it. I'm not entirely sure. Also, before I get into the rest of the list, let me know what you're looking forward to this year. Let me know if I miss any games that you're excited for. Um, and, you know, we can just talk about it, basically, and see who's excited for which basically so we've got the avengers um we have dragon ball z kakarot that is out now um if you haven't seen i am doing videos on it i'm doing a walkthrough i'm probably just a little odd side stuff on that anyway but yeah um so my opinion on that so far that's pretty good i'll probably do um a review video like i have done for previous videos before uh i'm only a couple of hours in but really enjoying that game if you haven't go check it out and then you might possibly want to pick it up yourself but yeah so we've got dragon ball z we have the hunt showdown that um it's like an old-time western free-for-all type well not free-for-all you can do it in squads and stuff and there's like zombies and things about looks good looks interesting may pick it up in the future not sure it does look it it, it looks good i've seen gameplay for it on the pc but it, i believe it's meant to be coming to ps4 so we've got that to look forward to we have um, a man eater it's the one where you play as a shark i believe it's it's pretty similar to the ones you can get on your phone you know where you um run swim around and basically eat people to become bigger evolve into a bigger shark such like that there's only a bit of gameplay for that so far but then um, that looks good it looks um different so maybe get that in the future i'm not entirely sure on that game just yet um faster than furious mm, I'm, I'm a fan of the films but I don't think I'll be getting the game. Let me know if you will. If you're into all racing type games. Obviously I'm into like. Um, the Need for Speeds and stuff like that. But um, I don't, don't think I'll be getting this. Um, we have Dying Light 2. Um, I played the first one. I wasn't much of a fan. What they have shown so far for Dying Light 2. It does look really good. But not entirely sure. I don't want to pick it up. Play a bit. And then you know. Ends up on the shelf over there. I just. I'm trying not to waste as much money um, this year now guys we have Lego Star Wars the Skywalk Saga I am a fan of the Star Wars genre I am a fan of the Lego Star Wars games so I'll probably pick that up it's um, it, it, lo it looks fun to play and I believe they're, they're always like good fun games we have Zombie Army 4 which comes out next month I'm really excited for that I have ordered it I've ordered the collector's edition so I'll be doing an unboxing for that um, excited I'm just I'm, I'm always excited when I know like I've got a new game coming out and I'm like yeah I'm gonna be glued to that obviously I've got Dragon Ball Z currently um, so I'm trying to get as much as that played as possible so it doesn't end up in the backlog but um, you know another great game <coughs> we have cyberpunk cyberpunk that looks insane but yeah we've got that coming out this year we have destroy all humans um, if you've never played that before when you were like younger um, I'm, I'm 25 so I was born in 94 and I remember playing the original and it was so much fun running around as an alien um, abducting the cows and stuff like brilliant game we have Watch Dogs um, 3 no was it 3 Watch Dogs 3 yeah Watch Dogs 3 got confused then so we got Watch Dogs 3 Legion I believe it is that's the new one coming out that looks good we have The Last of Us 2. Oh, played the first one. Um, 
this is embarrassing. I never actually finished the first one, and <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to roast me for that because every time I tell someone that on Instagram or something, they're like, "What? No, you need to play it." Blah blah. blah. But I, it's having the time, especially you know with a job and stuff. It's so difficult to finish big, big games. Um, we have Resident Evil Three remake. Um, I got RE Two remake as well. Incredible. And we also have the new Final Fantasy. Uh, I can't remember the number, not going to say it, <laughs> let me know in the comments, but uh, yeah, this is obviously a remake one as well, and that looks incredible. So, um, also I missed off Doom Eternal, which is coming out soon, also this year. So, we're going to go through the now the most anticipated games of the year, you know, the ones that everyone's talking about, everyone's posting about, um, the ones that just everyone is so excited for. So we're going to go with uh, Cyberpunk first, 2020. Like, of what they've shown of Cyberpunk, I am so excited. Like, obviously they haven't shown a lot, but they've shown bits of the open world aspect, the, the fighting, the shooting. Uh, they've shown Keanu Reeves in the, in the trailer, which is mad. But um, Cyberpunk looks incredible. I've ordered that. Um, I think I've just gone for the Steelbook edition because the collector's edition I believe is like 200 odd and it's expensive guys. If I had the money I probably would have but I literally just booked a holiday as well so so much money. <sighs> Sorry about that guys but um, yeah Cyberpunk really excited for but that has also been delayed. Um, I d I've already forgotten to what I want. Give me a second and I'll just quickly check. I think Cyberpunk got delayed as well. Um, I know I should have checked this first. Yeah, so Cyberpunk's now been delayed to September. I'm I'm happy and not happy, but I'm more happy because now they're waiting to make sure the game is right and ready to be released. So happy about that, and I, I'm really looking forward to it. We have Resident Evil Three remake, um, Nemesis. So Resident Evil 2 remake did so well, you know, everyone was like, oh, where's number three, where's number three, and boom, they've dropped it, they dropped the trailer, they dropped a bit of gameplay, they've shown Nemesis in the new trailer, and it, that just looks incredible, that is out April, that has not been delayed or anything like that, <clears throat> and um, I'm excited for that, I'll be getting it, I'll, <laughs> I'll be streaming it, so feel free to come over and watch me scream I need to get my other camera set up my PlayStation one for the streaming and stuff but um, I'll definitely be doing that guys so make sure you subscribe and you won't miss me crapping my pants basically <laughs> we have um, Final Fantasy obviously um, a lot of people did play these when they, they were younger um, I played a couple but you know I wasn't like a massive Final Fantasy fan at a time or anything like that I I played them, I enjoyed it, but you know, it wasn't, ooh, I need to have this, like, like Call of Duty, like, I, I'm flipping, I've played every single Call of Duty, every Medal of Honor, every Battlefield, you know, but with Final Fantasy, it was a bit different, but it is such a good game, um, so, yep, yeah, I've ordered it, I wasn't going to, but of what I've seen, and I was like, do you know what, I'll give it a no go, and I'll order it, and, uh, so I'm really looking forward to playing that again, but that might not be my priority game to play. Like, that might be on the shelf for a bit before I get into it. I just don't want to keep putting games aside, then not playing them. If you know what I mean, anyway, guys. And I'm sure a lot of people have done that, especially, like, if you are ordering any of these like me, you're going to have, like, for them 10 games, and you're going to be like, oh, crap, I don't have the time to complete them. So, bit of a nightmare, but, yeah. So, we have, um, what was next then? Bear with me one second. So we have The Last of Us 2. That has to be like one of the most anticipated games of the year coming. Like everyone is speaking about it. Everyone is sharing it. <coughs> I know people who are just constantly watching the trailer because of how good it looks. It does look insane of what they've shared. And um, obviously that has been delayed. Um, but a lot of people are happy it's been delayed to make sure it is right and let me know if you are really excited for The Last of Us 2. I think everyone is at the moment and it just looks incredible. Um, 
so yeah, I've gone for <laughs> the really expensive edition of that. Um, you know, it comes with the steel book, the statue, the artwork, and I'll 100% be doing an unboxing for that, guys. And it it just looks amazing. Um, we have Watchdogs Legion. Um, I've seen certain people, um, certain people's opinions on this because of the previous two games, you know, some people are like, nah, we're not good, some people are like, yes, it was amazing, but this new one, it does look incredible, you know, you can play as different people, you can recruit them, um, different skills, things like that, you know, you can play as a little old lady, that's not a spoiler, that's on the trailer, and it looks just fun, you know, like, just play as a little old lady, tasering people, I can't wait, um, so yeah, I've definitely ordered that, um, not, um, uh, they don't really do a statue edition or anything like that with Watch Dogs, but I've ordered um, a certain edition anyway for in-game stuff. Um, so yeah, that is one to look forward to. I'm excited. And um, the other one that I believe most people are anticipated about is Doom Eternal, which is the newest Doom coming. Um, I have played the Doom games, you know, running around, blowing things up, bloody and gory, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I'm, I'm not excited myself for the new Doom. I've seen gameplay, I've seen the trailers, but I don't think I'll be ordering it. You know, I might be one of the people who watch a bit of gameplay when it's out and just see if it changes my mind in the future. But um as of yet, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna order that. And um we've got Destroy All Humans, which is meant to be coming out at the end of the year, which is I don't like it when games come out at the end of the year because obviously we've got the PlayStation 5 coming out. Also Hit that like button if you are really excited for the PS5. I can't wait. Um, I've seen like um, a varied price for the console. I'm not sure if it's 100%, but it's meant to be like £450 or something. That's the UK. Don't know in different countries. But definitely getting it. There's literally no doubt about it. I'm 100% getting the PlayStation 5. Early Christmas present to myself. Definitely. Uh, and I'll you know, do videos on that, um, unboxing, um, hopefully I can still record through the PS5, I haven't seen much about um, information on that, so if anyone knows if you can still use an Elgato or anything, let me know in the comments, send links, and uh, you know, I'll be really appreciated, um, but yeah, so from my list anyway, I feel like those, like handful, you know, Final Fantasy, RE3, Last of Us, Watch Dogs, uh, Destroy All Humans and Doom oh, are uh, like the most anticipated and Dying Light 2 for a lot of people. A lot of people are excited for Dying Light 2. I'm not too excited myself. <coughs> but um, yeah guys, so I'd say <laughs> that is like my short video. Well, 13 minutes, sorry about that guys. But um, just talking about the certain new games coming out this year and the most anticipated excited ones for people you know the ones that are going to be stood outside a shop at midnight waiting for it i don't think i'm doing that with any of these especially because i've ordered the collector's ones anyway and they're just going to get delivered um but yeah guys hopefully you have enjoyed this video i know it's just me rambling on basically let me know if you have the same thoughts opinions um what other games you're excited for this year you know it might be a nintendo switch game might be a PC game. I'm not a PC gamer. I'm literally just PlayStation, really. I play on the Switch, but I haven't really looked into the Switch games this year. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you want to see. Which ones from the list I have um, gave out. Which ones are you most excited for. And hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.